Hey guys, this is Michael from Conquer Chemistry. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to calculate the pH of weak acids. Let's start with an example. So this example tells us the acid dissociation constant for benzoic acid is 6.3 times 10 to negative 5. And we're asked to find the pH of a certain 0.35 molar solution of benzoic acid. The first thing we want to do is we just want to write the acid dissociation reaction. We want to write how the acid breaks up. So notice in this question, it doesn't tell us the formula of benzoic acid. If you don't know what the formula of the acid is, you can always just write the general formula of a weak acid, which is HA. So we can just write HA breaking up into its proton H plus and A minus, which is the conjugate base. You can write the acid dissociation reaction as this, or another way you could do it is you can include water. So if you were to include water, the only difference is that you would produce hydronium instead of H+. And the reason why we produce hydronium is because the HA is going to donate a proton to the water. I'm going to use this, this reaction. So after you have the reaction written down, since it's a weak acid, it does not fully dissociate. So we have to write an ice table showing what we start with and what's left over after the reaction is at equilibrium. I stands for initial, C stands for change, and E stands for equilibrium. The, you, when you're doing your ice table for acid-base reactions, you always want it to be in molarity. So if the problem doesn't give you the concentration, the molarity of the acid or base, the very first step is just to figure out the molarity. In this case, we are given the molarity as 0.35 molar. So my initial concentration of the acid was 0.35 molar. The question doesn't mention anything about HA or, or, or its conjugate base, A minus. So we're just going to assume when, you're, when you start, there are no products, so you only have reactants. Then for the C, it's going to be minus X, and then the products are going to be plus X and plus X. Why is this minus X? It's because it's a reactant. If it's a reactant, it's being used up, so it's minus N. These are products that are being produced, so that's why they're plus X and plus X. Then your E line is just the sum of the I and C line. So the E line for HA is just going to be 0.35 minus X, and then the E line for H plus is X, and the E line for A minus is also X. The next thing we do is we set up the Ka expression. So Ka is just the acid dissociation constant. For all Ks, is always just going to be concentration products divided by concentration reactants. So this is going to be Ka equals the concentration of the product, which is H plus, times the concentration of the other product, A minus, divided by the concentration of the reactant, which is HA. We are given the Ka in this problem. To solve for the, the pH of a weak acid, you have to be given the Ka. Our Ka is 6.3 times 10 to the negative 5. Our concentration H plus at equilibrium was X. The concentration of A minus at equilibrium is also X. And then the concentration of the reactants HA was um, 0.35 minus X. Then when we simplify this, it becomes X squared divided by 0.35 minus X. Now we can solve for X here by using the quadratic formula, but you can simplify this in you can first, since the K is small, 6.3 times 10 negative 5 is a small number, it means this acid doesn't dissociate that much. It means that this HA is not going to break up into too much H plus and A minus. So we can make the assumption that the X value is small enough that we can just cross this out. The reason why we can cross this X out, versus, whereas we can't cross this X out, is because this X is next to the, a number 0.35. We're assuming this x is so small compared to the 0.35 that we can just ignore it and pretend it's insignificant. So after we do that, we can then easily solve for x. We can just multiply both sides by 0.35 and then t take the square root, and then we'll get x equals 8.06 times, actually, no, wrong number. We'll get 0 0.004 six nine we have to check is this x truly insignificant compared to the number that compared to the point three five there a, there's a cutoff it's called the five percent rule we have to make sure this this x is less than five percent of the original concentration of the acid so the way to do that is you take 
the x that you you got, you divide it by the original concentration, and then you multiply it by 100% to get into percentages. When I do that, I get 1.34%. So that means this, this is less than 5%. This means that I can just keep this as my x. I don't have to go back and include the x. Now, if you get the percentage and it's greater than 5%, so say like 5.5%, 7%, then that means this x is significant. You can't cross it out. You have to go back and use the quadratic formula to solve for the x. But in this case, it's less than 5%, so this x is close enough, close enough to the real answer. Then the next thing we do is, since x equals the concentration H+, plus, I can just use the pH equation. It will just be pH equals negative log of the concentration H+, plus, 0.00469. And then that will give us a final pH of 2.33. Here, hopefully that made sense. That was the long way of doing it. Now I'm going to show you a shortcut. So the shortcut, it, this is helpful if you're working through multiple choice and you don't have to show all your work. The shortcut is to go straight into this setup. Ka equals the concentration of x squared divided by the concentration of the acid. Um, so when we when we do this, if we were to use the shortcut for this for this question, I can just go 6.3 times 10 to negative 5 equals x squared divided by the original concentration of the acid, which is 0 0.35. And then once you get x, you do pH equals negative log of x to get your answer. Let's try another question where we just skip all the work, we go straight to the shortcut. Okay, so for this next question, we're asked to calculate the pH of 0.1 molar solution hypochlorous acid HOCl with this given Ka. This is a weak acid. I know it's a weak acid because it's not one of the seven strong acids that you need to know for chemistry. Also, you're given the Ka if the Ka value is really small, the smaller the Ka the weaker the acid, so then I can just use the shortcut to figure out the pH of weak acids, which is right here. So I go, I set up Ka equals x squared divided by the original concentration of the acid. Our Ka is 2.9 times 10 to the negative 8 equals to x squared divided by the concentration of acid, which is 0 0.10. Now I saw for x, x equals 5.39 times 10 to the negative 5. Once I have my x, my x is my H plus concentration, and I can just use pH equals negative log of H plus. So I just take pH equals negative log of the x value I saw for, 5.39 times 10 to the negative 5, and I get my final answer of 4.39. And it's 4.27 because our original um, starting number had two sig figs, so I want to have two sig figs in the end. When you're dealing with pH or pOH, only the numbers after the decimal point count, so only the two and the seven count. So that's why this is two sig figs instead of three sig figs. So hopefully that made a lot of sense. I, we talked about how to show all your work to calculate the pH of a weak acid, starting with the reaction, setting up an ice table going into Ka, using the shortcut to solve for x, then checking if x is really less than 5%, and then plugging the pH equals negative log of x. And then we also talked about the shortcut, how we can just skip all of that and set up Ka equals x squared divided by the concentration of acid, solve for x, then take the negative log of x to get the pH. Hopefully that made a lot of sense. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.